This is just a sample of the training available at ITDVDs.com. To see complete training, please go to ITDVDs.com. Let's begin the sample. Now let's create a classification rule. See, I don't have any. I'm going to right click, create classification rule. Let's give it a name. I'm going to call this one confidential files. And let's go to scope. So include all folders that store what kinds of data. So I just want maybe user files in here. There's group files, backup and archive files, and application files. So this one's going to apply to user files for me. And I'm going to add a particular folder. Let's go to this PC. I've got an E drive here. And maybe uh, in my departments folder, which just happens to be a share I've already created. So let's go ahead and click OK. Or excuse me, go to classification. Here we're going to choose a method to assign a property to files. So a content classifier, folder classifier, Windows PowerShell cl classifier. We're going to use a content classifier. What property are we going to assign if the file meets our certain criteria that we're going to set in a second? We're going to set that confidential property and we're going to set it to a value of yes. Now let's configure some parameters. So here we're going to specify the strings or regular expression uh, patterns to look for in the file or the file properties in order to set this confidential property to yes. So I'm going to look for, I could do string, string case sensitive or regular expression. I'm going to do a string and I'm going to specify the string should be confidential. The minimum number of occurrences is one. I could set a max as well. I'm going to leave that blank. I can do a file name pattern here as well. And it lets me know the classification rule assigns the property only if all expressions that you specify are found. So I could specify multiple expressions here in order to meet whatever we're looking for to set that confidential property to yes. So I'll go ahead and click OK. Now let's go over to evaluation type here. We can reevaluate existing property values. It says by default property values that have already been set are ignored. So if that confidential property is set, it's not going to try to figure out if it's confidential again or not. Uh, so we can specify whatever we want. I'm going to go ahead and reevaluate existing property. So it, every time this goes through, it's going to reevaluate and look for that word confidential in the file. And I'll go ahead and just overwrite existing values. I could clear automatically the classified property or clear user classified property. I'll, I'll leave those blank. Click OK. And we've created our classification rule. 